Representing Kansas is our pair of freshman guards in Johnny Furphy and El Marco Jackson. The fourth seeded Jayhawks will take on number five seed Kansas, or excuse me, Gonzaga in the second game on Saturday at 12.15 Mountain Time, 3.15 Eastern. And we'll now open up for questions for our student athletes. Back, left corner. David Lawrence, Kansas Radio. Johnny, you told me early in the season, you know, that, that you dreamed about the moment, the NCAA tournament, that you grew up watching it. Now that you experience it, did it live up to your expectations, to your dreams? Yeah, definitely. I think um, it was a, a different atmosphere for sure. Um, it was a really, really exciting game to be a part of, and it was a different energy. Yeah. And for both of you, uh, uh, you, you've heard social media talking about El Del Marco. If Johnny can step up, you know, then we can go a long way. It's just, d does that put pressure on you? Do, you? do you like the fact that fans are are talking about you? That that a lot is depending on you, and, or too much pressure? For both of you, um, I say, like, um, not really. Like, as a team, we've dealt with pressure all year, so it's kind of just normal for that, for us. And we're uh, very tight knit, where we don't really, you know, um, listen to a lot of outside noise. We just let, uh, you know, our locker room talk and stay as tight knit, uh, you know, as possible. And I feel like that's, uh, you know, a reason for you know our success. Okay. All right. Front right. Davis Domestic, the Crimson. Uh, question for both guys. The Man, that was an incredible game yesterday, an instant March classic. Uh, you guys played a team that loves to press and really made you earn that win. How are you all feeling fatigue-wise, health-wise, headed into tomorrow's matchup? Yeah, I think we're, that was a pretty, pretty tiring game. Um, as I said last night, I haven't never played a team that has pressed that consistently throughout the game. So... Um, that was definitely an experience, but I think, yeah, I think we're all looking forward to tomorrow. It's going to be a very different game, different play style for sure, but um, yeah, we're all looking forward to it. El Marco? Uh, yeah, i probably say the same thing. Uh, you know, on a big stakes game like this, your adrenaline is, uh, you know, flowing pretty crazy. So, uh, you know, just happy we came out to win and excited for this, uh, this one tomorrow. Okay, front row left here, please. Jordan Guskey, Topeka Capital Journal. For both of you, just what are your initial thoughts on Gonzaga? Have you learned anything as you start to look at the scout uh, for this game tomorrow? Um, yeah, I think they're they're a pretty well-rounded team. They've got, you know, their their um, you know power forwards and centers are really strong. Um, so I think we've got to do a really good job, you know, trying to not let them feel too comfortable in the post um, and yeah, try to stay out of foul trouble. But yeah, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a different game than last night. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to it. Front. Question for El Marco. Not a lot of people are giving you credit for the hustle play you made yesterday to end the Sanford game. That really put the nail in the coffin. Uh, what was going through your head at that play? Um, I knew that you know my momentum was gonna carry me out of bounds, so um, I just felt him you know on my back, and I knew that uh, if I had the chance to you know, like move or contort my body that I could, uh, you know, get a shot off his leg and go out of bounds. So just happy it worked out. Yeah. All right, do we have any more questions for our student athletes here in the room? All right, we will excuse them. Uh, congratulations, gentlemen, and good luck tomorrow. Coach Self will be here at 4.15.